Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I just wanted to talk about what's going on with the outdoor summer tubbing. Uh, picked up this new tote, a uh, little larger than the one I had last year. Uh, same brand, but I don't know what's going on, if it's a defective tote or, or what, but instantly set this up and it's like bowing out the side. So you can see I got the ratchet strap on there to try to hold it together a little bit, keep it uh, tight. Uh, did put the AquaClear 110 on there as well because I do want to move a whole bunch of the fish out here. So I really want good filtration and really don't want to have to deal with all kinds of water changes. So just set it up, fresh water in right from the hose, which is, you know, I'm on a well, so there's not a whole lot of, you know, chlorine or anything like that in there. It's just whatever is, you know, coming out of the well. Uh, brand new set of sponge filters on there. So I am going to add fish slowly into this over the upcoming weeks. Do have a thermometer on here and potentially add a heater in. Going to throw some duckweed in and some tank water just to start the cycle. Also going to throw in probably some driftwood. Um, since I am going to try to redo the fish room at some point, going to need some extra driftwood for some of the tanks. So might throw a bunch of driftwood in here as well, just to start pre-soaking it this way. When it comes time to set up the tanks, everything's ready to go and sinkable, you know, won't have to glue it down or, you know, pile rocks on top of it for months on end. So might as well take advantage of this space, but. I don't know how I'm totally feeling about this tub that it's already bowing though. Uh, what we're going to put in the tub is a whole bunch of these Green Lantern platies. And I am going to put in a whole bunch of the plecos that I have to start growing them out. I do need a couple more breeder females. So you know, eventually cull out the few that I want for myself as females. And eventually the rest will hit the pet store. But yeah, I got, you know... 50 plus of these green lantern platies to go in there and grow out and same thing might start these as another breeder group uh, don't want to put all of them out there because even though this is started this process at the end of june you know this is the second week of july right now and you know the temperature fluctuations have been completely crazy so i'm not going to put everybody out there because i am honestly really afraid of these t crazy temperature swings that I'm going to end up losing somebody. Um, temperatures here in New Hampshire, you know, the water temperature, even with the heater sometimes has dropped as low as 65 and then spiked up to, you know, 85 with the, with the water, you know, when the sun hits it. So I don't totally feel comfortable putting everybody out here just because this weather has been totally crazy. But you can see here, you know, this is a couple weeks later since I've started. I have some of the biological media that I took out of the, the 40 gallon um, out of the rack system to help jumpstart things and make sure you know nothing crash, crashes. A uh, whole bunch of driftwood in here. And now, you know, to try to control a little temperature, the heater is out and active. It's a 300 watt Eheim heater. And then I do have some of these elephant ears. Um, plants growing over the top of it as well to try to shade it out from the hot afternoon sun i do have plenty of the duckweed um, in here even though i can't stand it but it's going to serve its purpose for shading and yeah i'm going to leave this up and running see how it goes through the summer and hopefully get some great results guys like share subscribe really appreciate it and uh enjoy the day